Hello my YouTube friends, this is Major with Major Honey and today I thought I would do a little walkabout uh, around my property and show a few things. Some other YouTube uh, community does that and I find it very interesting so I thought I'd sort of do a walkabout and uh, talk about a few things that I got around uh, my house here. So we'll start with where <clears throat> I keep my bees in here at, at my house. This is what I, my, what I call my first yard and then my second yard. We've had several videos there. And I call this my sugar shack. That's where I store my sugar and, and frames and additional boxes and stuff like that. And I just got a table in there where I keep my smoker and different things like that. And I keep everything in totes to keep the bugs out of it and uh, then these are just a couple boxes that I'm not using right now and I'll just set them out here and my little mini nuke I don't have anything in it my two frames nothing in it right now here's a double five frame box here you can see they're pretty active today it is um, probably around 70 70 some degrees today on a pretty cool for a uh, August here but we've had the last couple days have been cool and then my other boxes here now you can see I'm a fan of five frame boxes that's three high there and the, the, these are ready for winter that they're gonna winter like this some double eights with a super they've got honey in the super on on all these two more double eights with supers as well and uh, they're all working fairly decent and I haven't weed eat it in a, in a while it's been raining a lot and I hadn't been able to weed eat or mow the grass but and then here's my little watering pond to try to keep everything out of the neighbor's pool and my pool but for some reason they don't really use it that much though um, Sometimes they'll drink on it, sometimes they won't, but they'd, they'd rather drink on lids and little things here, you know. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to walk this way. This is my side yard. And uh, hadn't, usually I weed eat back into the wood line here some. My property only goes about maybe another 10 feet in there. Oh, there's a frog but this tree right here I don't know the official name of it but it's called a bee tree and I got it two years ago and I, I grew this from seed and then I, I kept it indoors for a year and then uh, I actually set this out probably about six months ago and uh, it's grew some um, since I've had it indoors it's probably grew a good eight ten inches since I put it out here it's uh, called a bee tree but I don't know the actual Norma Clancher name of it I probably couldn't pronounce it anyways I remember seeing it but uh I usually don't put stuff that like that to uh, to memory. I got a little firewood here where I'd sawed a tree down, and and <clears throat> I haven't pulled the. Like I said, it's been raining a lot here, so this is another one that I ordered the seedlings. They was probably about two inches two inches tall when I planted them this year and these are called a clover bush that's the sort of a nickname for them that's not the official name but you can find them on the internet if you just type in clover bush of course these are very young these are less than a year old and, and they've done quite well here um, the bees the reason I'm planting these is the bees love them they will bloom 
and the bees just go crazy. But they bloom late in the year. So it's like, I try to have stuff that that blooms later in the year when the when the when we have a dearth so they're more of a late summer bloomer so I need to clean it get time to clean these up but I have four of them here so We'll see how they mature out. And, uh, I use worm castings, which is, uh, I have a little worm, little worm bin where I feed the worms. That with <clears throat> a couple, one thing I wanted to show you that I thought was really neat. I like the, uh, I like bushes and stuff here but this is what I wanted to show you this pumpkin here uh, was what we call a volunteer it uh, on where at rock is right there we had a pumpkin setting for Halloween last year and there for autumn and then then this came up this year so I just let it rock and roll you see got one there there's one over here in the sidewalk you can see it there runs out there comes all the way out here we got it growing up a little bit of a cage here i would had that cage just sitting there for something else and it just sort of did its own thing so i just let it have it Looking to see if they was. Yeah. So it's this is the same, the same vine from that one little spot over there, and it's come out through here, all the way here. Here's another one. I'm hoping to let it grow so we can have pumpkins off of this for our grandkids this year so this was a small breed pumpkin I'm not sure it will get much bigger than that because <clears throat> the one it was there was like a little baby pumpkin we call it and there's one and there's one on the end coming out of back in the sidewalk now these are this right here is rather large this is called a pussy willow bush tree and it blooms early spring, real early before a lot of stuff does. And it, I have a video of bees working it that I may add to this. And then this is the same breed, but this is a willow. This has been a grafted weeping will, pussy willow, weeping pussy willow bush that was grafted. Uh, I bought it that way. I didn't graft it, even though I think grafting is pretty interesting. <laughs> And then this is a regular bush. Now this is probably a good two years old. They really like water. And uh, it wasn't, it was probably about three feet when I bought it. Bought it at Lowe's, a little pricey. But now I have, it's a real easy to root. You can just break a piece of it off and stick it in water and it'll root. It has its own built-in root starter. And it has been known to, if you'll take some of this bush and grind it up and and pour it in some water with a nut, something else that you want to root it will help that root as well and um these bushes right here they're not quite or these these plants here they're not quite 
bloomed exactly yet but this is another one that I do for the bees and it's called Autumn Joy Sedum S-E-D-U-M Autumn Joy and you can buy them at Lowe's too they're a, they're a perennial and they they will come back and they will reproduce rather quickly you can split them and uh, the bees really like them they're not quite ready yet but the bees will go crazy over that this is a, a pear tree that came up I had one that was right here I cut off not long ago this one had started coming beside of it the other one had died one a tree fell on it and damaged it too much and a tree in the neighbor's yard fell across, all the way across the road and hit that one and damaged it so these are some trumpet here that I have rooted from the mother plant over here that you can see we'll go back to it and it's not beneficial for the bees or anything really they're just I just think it's really pretty you know they have these nice blooms on them I've had this probably three years and you cut it back in the frost and I always covered up with pine needles to help protect it from the frost and it'll come back every year and you can when I trim this back you can take the stalks put it in a five gallon bucket of water and they will root easily and you can plant them around in your yard further if you want to or sell them I've sold some and different things we're going to uh, come back to the behind the house here a little bit and uh, want to show you a few more things this is my traps I have see my bees are there and I got these apple trees here and these are the traps you can see there's a one in there now I've made the holes a little bit too big and some some of them can get out if they figure it out I'm gonna go back and maybe put a little piece of tape over that but you can see that it works you can see all of them in there I have another one here you can see still quite a few in there to catch those yellow jackets because they will if they can find a way in to, to go in and eat the main guys I want is them bigger hornets bigger wasps like that they will they will really work hard to try to get your bees so here's some more of those that I have planted these are you can see they're starting to bloom a little bit there's a little bit more sun here so they're coming in a little bit faster you can see that there's some wasp on them you know so i'll let them have their due i guess but uh, once these become you can see how they're opening up looking pinkish looking and uh, the bees will really enjoy that um i want to show you my grapevine i have uh, Yet I got to pick the grapes they are pretty much ready so they will I'll come through and cut these off and we'll make some we'll make some jam out of them or just eat them some of them haven't ripened yet but had not been a real great year well you know because we had some pretty good rain here lately and some of them are already starting to add rain and then the heat and but, uh, there'll be some, there'll be a few there to shut to savage you know to salvage excuse me to uh, be able to do something with this is just a little area here you can see where I just throw my buckwheat out this is sort of a little garden area deal and I planted a few tomatoes this year and I just left the peppers there they're uh, still trying to do a little bit of that one but I had some issues with the rabbits came in it's got a bloom on it though but I had some issues with the rabbits came and ate them 
trying to get one there. I might give that a little while longer and pick it so it'll, before something eats it. But you can see all the the butt wheat that I've I've thrown in here. Okay, and then I even throw it even in behind here. I just weeded this down. This is at the very back of my property. Nobody really comes back here but me. So, and then. I've got a muscadine growing here that a, a friend gave me last year and I planted it and it's, it was just a, a muscadine that he had uh, dug up for me from his house and give it to me. So this is my worm, what I call my worm farm. I really neglected it a lot lately and let it grow up. but. Uh, and the, I had it, the board on there, but it, it fell over with all the wind. But, uh, and I just barely tacked it in there anyways. But, but the, the worm castings, we call it, will, uh, is what I call God's miracle grow. You know? And it, this is an old thing the kids was playing in and they didn't we throw it back here but uh, I can dig through that and there's uh, a lot of worms in there but this is sort of my compost bin and uh, I got that old side glass door there that sun really heats it up in there when it goes through that glass so and then I'll throw scraps and stuff out here so so the butt wheat's coming up <clears throat> fairly decent. And uh, and all I did was, of course I did till this when I had the garden, but then, you know, grass will grow back up or whatever. So what I what I do, I just weed eat it down as close as I can get with a weed eater and then just throw it out. And uh, it's doing rather well, actually. You can see the little blooms on it. I had to... Uh, but wheat is a very good cover crop and it's really great to do in June, July, August, you know, and as long it'll, you know, it, it will grow until the frost and it's really great for the bees. And I wish they was a little bit closer to bloom so you could see, and here's another one I have on the, the corner here. So really wish I could, uh, show you the bees working them but today's sort of a cool muggy day too so i don't know uh, they're not they're active but not seeing them running around much but uh well i think that's a close enough little or good enough little walkabout i should say so uh I'm going to uh, work in the bees a little bit and I've got one that is having some issues with small hive beetles and uh, what I've done I wanted to tell you about this is you can buy beetle barns they're they're not that expensive you, they're a, a buck fifty less and you take these it's got a little entrance there on the sides on every corner and you take it and mix, uh, mix up boric acid and Crisco or you can buy the Walmart brand of the of the shortening the whipped shortening oil you mix it together and it has a little place in the center of it. you can put it in and then you'll take this and set it in your hives the hive beetles go in and check in but don't check out you know and it helps to uh, try to give the you know the bees the the best chance they can with that. And they they will herd them up to certain areas and and sort of herd them around like cattle, and you'll have them like stuck in a corner. But uh, this will help alleviate or help give them uh, a little break on having to work them so much all the time. But, uh, I think that'll do it for this time, guys. I appreciate you, and thanks. Like and subscribe. Comment on anything. I'll be more than glad to do any kind of video, be related, that uh, 
you think I might be able to help you with, just let me know. This is Major Honey. Thanks. Bye-bye.